It's showtime! According to reports, Devin Haney has reportedly said that he was going to move up to face Regis Progre and inform the WBC that he will move up to face Regis Progre and that he will not defend his titles against Shakur Stevenson next. And he requested to retain hey, what are you guys? lightweight Shakur WBC boxing titles. Back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest content. So, I already said that Devin Haney should move up to face Regis Progray or just move up in general, being that he started his career off at 135 pounds and to obtain some more titles in another weight division to do something different to be what try, well, try to become undisputed in two different weight classes why not do it why not you know uh do something why he can he he was the first undisputed male champion in this four bet era to be to become undisputed in the four bet era which is terence crawford but devin haney i said that he should drop those belts um, and let somebody else, you know, fight for those belts at 135 pounds because right now, basically, what he's doing is just holding up the division and holding up those belts. Why, you know, people can, you know, fight for those belts, but I get it. He probably want to test the waters at 140, and seeing that if he can't take it at 140 pounds, he can come back down and try to defend those titles. And, you know, do something, I guess, that everybody has been wanting him to do. That's fight Shakur. But I think somewhere down the line, that's going to happen. Regardless, him and Shakur. But I think, why why give Shakur something right now when Devin Haney has put in the work and put his, you know, put the time in it? Why give somebody something that I feel like haven't done nothing and 135 pounds. Devin Haney should just let those belts go and let him go fight for all the belts like how he did. And then if it's meant for to be, you know, they'll they'll end up meeting at 135 pounds or 140 pounds. And I think Devin Haney should just do that. Let those belts go, right? And then if he have the chance to do it again, if he can't become in the same weight class, if he let the belts go and do it all over again, which will make it even greater, even bigger. You get what I'm saying? So, I think Devin, he should just let those belts go and not worry about probably fighting Tank because if he let those belts go, and I know he probably holding those belts to fight Tank or or to fight Shakur, and he want to he want to have the leverage. But when you go to look at the numbers, there's no comparison to Tank numbers. Of course, Tank going to be the A side, regardless of those belts. Because if you look at the numbers, Tank, he got all the numbers. And Shakur don't have all the numbers. Devin got more numbers than him. So the 25% that Devin offered him, Shakur, has should've, he should have took it. And a better man would have won if they would have fought. Of course, you know, Shakur and his team petitioned you know, for that mandatory spot for so Devin can fight Shakur. But I just felt like by him doing that and it goes into no ne negotiations, he might get less than what he thinking he deserve. He brain, he's off. He he don't offer nothing to Devin. You know, beat Devin, took the belts, and he could have been calling the shots if he would have won. But, hey, it is what it is at this time, at this point. Shakur got to wait in line like everybody else is doing right now. And what Devin is doing, Devin is doing him. Why wait on somebody else when, you know, it's too much money out here in this boxing game to be made. 
and you ain't going to be around in the game for too long. Shakur said he only want to fight champions. Well, you got to fight you got to fight somebody to stay stay active. You know, you got to you got to stay active. Can't just worry about fighting champions. You got to fight the little guys that's going to make the big guys. You got to go through that. And um Devin had to go through it. Everybody got to go through it. Right now Devin is doing something that I think he should do and that's move up to fight Regis Progre and then he can fight Teofimo Lopez and then Roley got a belt. He could fight Roley and take that belt from Roley. And then boom, he be, he could become unified. Or he can become undisputed. Cause if he take the WBC belt and then Teofimo Lopez got the other two, and Roley got one. Why not? It all would make sense. So yeah, Devin, do what you do, man. Um, I think you should let those belts go and let somebody else fight for those belts. And if it was meant for the beat. Meant, meant to be and meant for you to have them, then you'll get them back. But at this time, man, y'all make sure y'all, you know, let me know what y'all think, all right? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.